Hey guys, it's Sandy. Welcome back to Cute Polish. In today's video, Hannah will be sharing 10 different nail art designs that can all be created just by using items found around your house. That's right, this is the fourth ultimate guide in our nail art designs using household items series. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy videos like this and let us know in the comments which of these 10 designs is your favorite. Hi, it's Hannah, so why don't we get started? First, apply a base coat to help protect your nails. The first design is for some retro flowers using white, neon orange, green, and pink polish with white as the base color. I'll be taking a bobby pin and stretching it apart. This is a great alternative if you don't have a dotting tool. Now apply five dots of each color to create the flowers. Apply a different color dot in the center of each flower. Next up is a mermaid scales design using teal and gold metallic polish with teal as the base color. Use a toothpick with the gold polish to carefully draw connecting curves to form the scales. Be sure to not press down too hard and try to glide the polish along for the best results. Now we have a super easy negative space design using pink and purple polish. Peel off a reinforcement label and cut it in half, then place it at the base of the nail. Apply the pink polish to the half moon area and the purple to the rest of the nail, then carefully peel off the label. This next design is for some highlighter speckle nails using white and glitter polish, plus three different colored highlighters with white as the base color. Once dry, apply the glitter polish. Now take each highlighter and add random speckles onto the nail. For the fifth design, I'll be showing you half glossy and half matte using a matte top coat and dark blue polish as the base color. Once the blue is dry, apply one layer of a fast drying top coat. Make sure it's fully dry, then place a piece of scotch tape diagonally onto the nail. Apply the matte top coat over the one side, then peel off the tape. The tape created some dents in the glossy part since I didn't let it dry enough, but you can easily fix it by applying a layer of top coat onto that side. Now I'll be doing an easy watercolor design using white polish and blue and pink acrylic paint with white as the base color. Use a Q-tip to water down the paint, then dab it onto the nail. Do the same thing with the blue color. Repeat the previous steps one more time. Next is a fun swirl design using white, pink, and aqua polish with aqua as the base color. Once dry, apply a fast drying top coat. Now apply all three polishes to the nail and while they're still wet, take a toothpick and swirl the polishes together. Be sure to not press down too hard so you don't scratch the base color. For this design, I'll be doing a two-tone zebra print using neon green and orange polish plus black acrylic paint with green as the base color. Now apply the orange to one side. With a toothpick and black paint, outline the zebra stripes coming from each side, then fill them in. This one is for a cutout heart using white, light pink, and hot pink polish with white as the base color. Take a piece of painter's tape and fold it in half. Carefully cut out half of a small heart. Then peel the tape apart to see the full heart stencil. Now trim the tape around the heart. 
place the stencil onto the nail and apply the hot pink to the top, then the light pink below, sort of blending the two slightly. Remove the tape before the polish dries. I got some pink onto the tip of the nail, so I'm just going to fix that with some white polish. For the last but not least design, I'll be doing a sugar spun nail using black, bright purple, and pink polish with black as the base color. Apply one layer of a fast drying top coat. Place a blob of each color onto some tin foil and wait about 10 minutes. With a toothpick, drag the polish across the nail, going back and forth from each side. It should create a stringy effect. Do the same with the purple polish, and of course, clean up around the nail after you're done, which I totally forgot to film, but I'm sure you figured I did that anyways. Finally, apply a fast drying top coat to your designs, except for the ones that don't need it, like the half glossy and half matte, and sugar spun nail. So that's it for this video. If you'd like to check out more videos on Cute Polish, click these boxes and click this circle here to subscribe to Cute Polish for a new video every Monday. And to check out my personal nail channel, click this circle here. Thanks for watching!